If you've camped a lot, you know having a nice camp sleeping pad is definitely preferable to sleeping on the ground. Today we're taking a look at this EDUE ultralight camping sleeping pad. Hey guys, just a real quick note before we begin. I don't want you guys to miss out on this sale right now. At preparewithiridium.com, that's my Food for Patriots link. We're having a really good sale right now. The four-week emergency food supply is 2,000 calories a day with 284 servings. Free shipping, and you're going to save $100 today. Normally, that's $297. Today, it's $197. If you're only interested in the two-week emergency supply, which is a good way for people who are on limited income to stock up, that's got breakfast, lunches, and dinners with 92 servings. They're in these resealable four-layer pouches. Eight food varieties, 25-year shelf life. That is also on sale. Normally, it's $157. Today, it's 97. I want to do this at the beginning of the video because I know there's some concern about stock it up right now. And definitely, that's a good deal. So check them out. It's at preparewithiridium.com. All right, let's get into the Now, the reason pad. for my purchase of this here is because I had one in my vehicle that was big, bulky, and uncomfortable um, for storage. Comfort-wise, it's comfortable. It's uncomfortable to stuff under the seat and get it under there and you don't want to take it out. And so I decided I wanted to move with something a little bit lighter. And this guy here will definitely fit that bill. Here is the old one I have. And you can see the size difference and definitely the weight difference. This thing weighs about a pound and a half. Um, this thing is super, super light. We'll get into all that in a sec. But I want to let you know about it because that's where it's going to be living. It's going to be living in my car emergency kit. And it's definitely a whole lot easier if I want to sleep on a sleeping pad in my vehicle or anywhere outside in my tent. Definitely a lot more handy and a lot smaller. Now, I will put a link down below where you can check it out. It does come in three colors. Army green, which is really more of a regular green. It isn't that OD green. Uh, blue and gray. These use 4D ripstop nylon and a TPU layer. So it provides a good balance between low weight and durability. And it doesn't crinkle. If you've ever bought those super ultralight um, sleeping pads, they have that crinkly feeling. And you'll hear that all night. I'm going to open it up here on camera for you and show it to you. And we'll back out a little bit. I will not be able to demo me lying on this or getting down on it, unfortunately. I have a really bad knee injury. I can tell you that I've used it before, and it is very comfortable. And we will be blowing it up, and you'll see the whole thing, you know, from top to bottom. So, there you go. It expands to about 70 inches by 23 inches by 1.9 inches thick, thick. It folds to about 1 inch by 4 and it weighs only 19 ounces, so it's super, super light. I mean, the difference in weight between the other one, I said it was about one pound, one and a half. It's probably about two pounds, the other one. This one is so much lighter, and look at this size. And if you don't want to use the bag, you don't have to because you got this nice little, you know, thing around it, and you can just stick that in your pack. It's a perfect accessory for any kind of hiking or camping type thing, as well as your bug out bags or anything like that. That could be strapped on the side of a pack. It's about the size of a water bottle, so if you were to stick this, let's get a one of my water bottles. You know, if you were to compare the two, you see right there, that could fit in the side pocket of a, uh, a backpack that has a water bottle pack, water bottle holder. Definitely an easy item to stick in there. And it's really, really cool. It does deflate quickly. That's one thing I liked about it. Um, sometimes these things are a pain in the neck to deflate. And I injured my knee about a week ago. And it's finally catching up with me. It's finally starting to hurt and be swollen. Uh, however, um, when I did lie on this, I did notice that um, it's comfortable, but yet when I rolled it back up and I did it on the floor using my knees to flatten it out, um, it was really easy to take apart and deflate. Some of these are kind of harder to do that. So uh, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and put it down on the floor. I'm going to point the camera on the floor. And we're going to blow it up there. I'm going to blow it up standing because I don't want to get down because I won't get back up. <laughs> now they say it only takes about 15 to 10 breaths to uh, blow up. We'll try that. It does have the inside flap that makes it easy to blow up without the air escaping every time you blow up and then it sucks back out. So definitely a very cool thing. Uh, it does offer a lot of insulation and it does protect you from the cold, hard ground. Especially as you get a little older, you definitely want something underneath you while sleeping. Um, it's just more comfortable. And I mean, especially in an emergency situation, even if you have to end up, God forbid, in a shelter, having this sure be sleeping on the ground inside a privacy tent or sh shelter or whatever. Um, having this will definitely make the difference in a comfortable night's sleep and a really hard night's sleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it up and I'll lower the camera a little bit. We're going to point it down on the floor there. And I'm going to blow it up and we're going to see how many breaths it takes to do it. And then we're going to roll it back up. Now I'm probably not going to be able to roll it up on the floor. So we're going to do it up 
on the counter here and uh, try it out and see what we think. Now the first thing I want to show you is that there's only one place to fill and un unroll this. Um, you're going to fill it up by taking the top piece here. Now if you look inside there, you'll see that has that protective area. So you can blow into it, but as, you're, as you let up, it won't all come back out again. Now if you want to deflate it, you're going to take that part here and pull the second piece off. And I haven't pushed it all the way in. And that will let all the air out as quickly as possible. Also, too, if you're using an automatic inflator, you can inflate it through this hole. Uh, I know some folks have those little D-cell battery uh, inflators, pumps that they like. And uh, so we're going to try it out. Let's see how many breaths it takes to fill this thing. And please ignore the construction noise in the background if you can hear it. Um, they're building a house, two houses down that way, and it seems they want to park all their trucks in front of my house. Okay, those are some pretty deep, good breaths there. <laughs> but that's 15 breaths. And let's lay this out for you. I hate that the camera is so close that I can't get it all the way down. What I'm going to do is stop the camera, lay it out, and let you see it full length. All right, so here it is. This is what it looks like. And I will say that is adequate. Um, I'd probably go about 20 breaths. I want to do it 14, 15 breaths to see how well it looks. You can see right there. That's a fairly long mat. I'm 6'2". That's going to have no problem putting me on there. No problem at all. And um, I like the pockets. I have found that mats that use the long tubes aren't as comfortable as these with the little pockets. Um, you tend to drop stuff. Or your hand slides in it. They're just not as comfortable. These tend to support my back a whole lot better, too. So if you've got back issues, definitely the mat for you. All right. Let's try something else out here. What I wanted to do with this to give you the best idea of what it's kind of like is to show you the thickness of it. You know, you got a good, it, it's it's kind of bouncy, but it's not, you know, it's not rock hard, so it'll give under you. I definitely like that feeling. And you can see the thickness. It's kind of an uneven thickness because of the, you know, the, the honeycomb design on it. But you can definitely see that's not, uh, not too thin, not annoying, you know, that kind of crinkly. It does crinkle a little bit, but it's not that, it, some of that stuff is like plastic, and it feels like that material that they make the emergency tarps out of, and I just don't trust that stuff in the wild. I think this would hold up a whole lot better. All right, I'm going to put it back up on the counter, and I'm going to start deflating it a little bit so you can actually see me finish it, and we'll see how well this deflates. So that's the state it's in the minute I pop that second, un, uh, that second plug there. Um, this is what it will look like. It deflated down fairly quick. Um, again, you know, it's a bummer I can't get on the ground. I like to shrink these things down with my knees really, really small, but there's no way I'm doing that and getting back up today. My knee is uh, pretty swollen, although it's a heck of a lot better than it was a few days ago. Definitely getting better, but it hurts. So, good to know that you can do this on a table. You know, it's small enough that you can do this on a table. So what I'm going to do is try to just squeeze out all the air as best I can, keep it folded evenly, you know, like that. And it seems to be coming out no problem. I'm trying to fold it as small as I can, too. Because I always find I can get these a little bit smaller than they came. Especially using my knee method, but that's out of the picture today. So, there we go. Get it tight. And the air is coming out of it really easy. I, you know, some of the things I had with ultralight ones, too, is the air doesn't come out as easy. They tend to hold it in pockets and stuff, so let's put that out that way. And finish our rolling here. And you can see that's really doing pretty well. Try to keep it straight. 
Now this is good to know because if you are, say, injured on a trip and you can't fold the thing back up that well, you know, you can get it down to a decent size just by doing this. So that's what we're doing. I tend to be, I'm kind of like rolling it under like that to get it a little smaller. Now once my knee heals, I'll do a tighter job on this. But that's really, really good. I can't complain about that. Oop, I had it plugged. There we go. So there's the last of the air out. Give it a good push down here. There you go. Put the little cord around it. Don't want to lose its tightness. And there you go. So as you can see, easy to deflate. Um, that was super easy. I've had some that, you know, it just seemed no matter how small and how down you got on the ground with them and how much you pushed on them, you couldn't get all the air out. There was always more air. This one seemed to work very, very well. I'm going to push down on it really hard to get any residual there. So there you go. You saw me pack that up right there without using my knees. Let's get it back in the bag, and I'll show you. Another thing on this is price. That is actually smaller than I had it. That was not easy to get in there. Price-wise, this is an amazing deal. Most ultralight camp pads are in the $40 to $50 range, some of them a whole lot more than that. This is $29.96, so I mean you're getting it for $30. Bucks. Seems to be good quality. When I did first get it a few, uh, like a week ago, I did lay down on it, and I did it to 20 breaths myself, and I found it to be incredibly comfortable. Um, I haven't laid on it since I've injured my knee, and of course I don't want to mess with it. It's finally getting better. But I gotta say, that thing is really, really comfortable. Um, definitely good for your back. It gives you nice support. Like I said, that honeycomb pattern really seems to make it very, very comfortable. So that is the E. Huey, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> Ultralight Camp Sleeping Pad. Definitely a, uh, a good deal and way, way smaller than what I had in the vehicle before. The older one that I had in the vehicle, I'll pull it up here, um, was from an older um, kit that I got. It is way big, way heavy, definitely not, you know, something that, uh, you know, in my Suburban, it really didn't make a difference. In the smaller vehicle, in the Jeep, it definitely does make a difference. So having something like that, definitely cool. And I can toss that right into one of my packs right now because I have a lot of extra room in the three packs in bag. And I have myself a sleeping pad. can work even on the seats if I have to sleep on the seats overnight, if I have to use the car for shelter. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will put a link down below where you can pick this up. It is $29.96 at the making of this video at this time. Um, you can check them out there. It'll be in my Amazon store as well, so don't forget to check out our Amazon store down below. If there's nothing in the store you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. We really appreciate that. And like I said at the beginning of this video, don't forget to check out our Food for Patriots link, which is preparewithiridium.com. I gave you the details on the prices on those. You're going to find some good deals there. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link as well. We're starting to get food back in stock at Thrive, so you definitely want to check them out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.